Chroma version 2.6.0 introduced a new feature called Link Profiles. The Link Profiles feature enables you to create wireless profiles on a per link basis. The BSU determines the transmission properties of all broadcast slash multicast and announcement packets by considering all of the active link properties and active profiles. While sending broadcast messages, the BSU considers the most valuable wireless parameters, transmit rate, data streams, and TCP, so that all the connected SUs receive the messages. In point to multipoint BSU and SU devices, you can create a maximum of eight link profiles, including the default pre-configured profile. If BSU slash SU are not mapped to any configured profile, the SU will be mapped to the default profile. The point to point quick bridge devices support only one link profile. Note, when working with multiple link profiles with varying data rates, the overall wireless performance will be affected to optimize the overall network performance use QAS. The link profile parameter definitions are as follows. For detailed information for each field, please refer to the version 2.6.0 user's manual, pages 78 through 80. The profile name represents the link profile name whose wireless parameters are edited. DDRS status adjusts the transmission data rate automatically to an optimal value based on the current configuration condition and link quality. It can be either be enabled or disabled per profile. Data streams. This parameter can be set to either auto, single, or dual. Note, when DDRS is enabled, it will operate based on the selected data stream. DDRS max data rate. This parameter represents the maximum data rate that the DDRS can dynamically choose to operate. A change in the data streams resets the maximum data rate to this default value. By default it is set to 130 megs. ATPC or automatic transfer power control status. When enabled, the device automatically adjusts the transfer power to avoid saturation of remote receivers, which could cause data errors leading to lower throughput and link outages. If disabled, the user can manually adjust the transfer power by default. This feature is enabled. When ATPC status is disabled, you have the ability to set your own TPC value. The range is from 0 to 25 dB. The Auto TX antenna status field. When Auto TX antenna is enabled for single stream, the device automatically selects the antenna port with the highest received RSSI for each data transmission. Note, this feature is only applicable only in single data stream only. The transmit antenna status allows the user to select antenna ports for data transmission. Note, applicable only when Auto TX antenna status is disabled. To configure a new link profile, click on Advanced Configuration, Wireless, Link Profiles. It'll take you to the Link Profiles page. To go ahead and add one, just go ahead and click the Add button. Now, after that, go ahead and click Edit on the profile that you created. And this is going to take you to the main configuration page. Configure all the parameters that you want the radio to use. Please make sure that both base and satellite radios have identical configurations. After you complete, go ahead and click OK and then commit. After creating a link profile, the next step is to go ahead and assign the link profile to the base station and to the satellite. In this case, I am in the base station. Go ahead and click on SU profile. Click on edit. We're going to go ahead and pull down. I'm going to select test and click OK. I'm going to go over to the SU. We're going to click to the BSU profile. We're going to click Edit. We're going to click the same profile as created. Go ahead and click OK. Make sure that Commit is pressed every single time. After which the profile will be enabled. You could do this up to as many radios as you have. Once again, eight profiles is the max. Note, you can edit but not delete the default profile. The link profiles in use cannot be deleted. A single profile can be mapped to multiple SUs and BSUs. And link profiles are local to the device and should be configured independently on all devices. For more Proxim Support TV videos and access to our various support offerings, please visit support.proxim.com. 
If technical support is required, please call us at 1-866-674-6626 or open a ticket with us.